Hi guys, this is your boy Emmanuel Ajmaibadu. Go on YouTube and subscribe to Sahara Football. Cheers. So after the CAF ban was issued yesterday and the communique from the FA came out telling us that right now we do not have an approved venue, it was later revealed that Ghana had a little over 24 hours to present probably another stadium for CAF to consider. In that communique that came out, CAF had spoken about uh, the Cape Coast Sports Stadium being inspected and not meeting the standards. We also talked about uh, the Accra Sports Stadium. Uh, some improvements have come onto the Accra Sports Stadium and that is the reason why it's been approved for CAF, Champions League and Confederations Cup matches. But it has its issues which would not make it meet the standard uh, for uh, the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. Nonetheless, this morning we woke up to news from uh, the sports ministry saying that uh, uh, the FA uh, should direct CAF to inspect the Accra Sports Stadium and the Ligon Sports Complex. We'll look at that communication coming in. Why I think probably uh, the FA cannot do that and uh, why it will probably uh, be turned down by CAF unless something uh, drastic or dramatic happens. First off, yesterday, coincidentally, I was at the Ligon Sports Complex, a $34 million facility that was built ahead of the All-Africa Games. Ghana hosted the All-Africa Games just this March, and uh, we had the Ligon Sports Complex to use for those games. But unfortunately uh, the Legon sports complex a complex that has had a lot of money pumped into it doesn't even meet the calf standards as you can see currently on your screen this is what it looks like right now yes just yesterday i took this picture unless something has changed in the in less than 24 hours this is how it looks like and legon city will be playing in the ghana premier league at this venue now i don't i'm no pitch expert but this doesn't look good at some of the grass on some parts of the field are dead are so hard they're so dry and it doesn't seem 100 percent suitable uh, for an afcon qualifier also, what I noticed was uh, that uh, there are certain issues at the Legon Sports Complex in relation to floodlights. It has been an issue for a very long time since its inauguration and it hasn't been resolved. The Legon Sports Complex would have been good. But for these few things, I don't think it will uh, be ready in time for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers. That being said, the communique that came in uh, from uh, Sports Ministry uh, to the FA uh, read as follows. The Ministry of Heat and Sports has been informed of a communique by CAF and its decision to withdraw approval of the Babaira Sports Stadium as a suitable venue uh, for CAF Category 3 matches. The CAF notice particularly raised concern about the state of the pitch concerns which is already uh, being addressed by the closure of the stadium after the 2025 AFCON qualifier against Angola. The minister has directed the National Sports Authority to take steps to resolve the issues with the pitch and further instructed the Ghana Football Association to immediately request CAF uh, to inspect the Accra Sports Stadium in a new court built University of Ghana Stadium for approval for as category 3 match venues uh, for use by the Black Stars in the next international match in October. Now, most issues identified by CAF at the Accra Sports Stadium during a previous inspection have been addressed, have been resolved, while the University of Ghana Sports Complex has already hosted CAF Category 2 matches. But the stadium, since inauguration, is yet to be inspected by CAF's independent inspectors uh, for consideration as a suitable Category 3 match venue, in accordance uh, with CAF's stadium regulation. Now, the Ministry of Youth and Sports is confident that the University of Ghana and Accra Sports Stadia will meet uh, the requirements for CAF's Category 3 matches after the inspection and again uh, reiterate its commitment to upgrading the remaining national stadiums uh, to meet the standards required for CAF Category 3 matches it took a calf communique uh, to ban the stadium for us to sit on our feet and do the right thing
this is just sad in my opinion it's really really sad because ghana shouldn't be at this point first of all the accra sports stadium one issue that cap had with the papaya sports stadium was the washrooms i don't know if you've been to the accra sports stadium in recent times but the washrooms are nothing to write home about it is not and i repeat it is not the best of conditions there are issues with security at the accra sports stadium as well the 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 stadium facility needs a beef up in terms of uh, the edifice it is not in the best of conditions the accra sports stadium pitch looks quite okay but i don't know if cap will approve this the accra sports stadium has washroom issues which i don't even want to go there the legon sports complex has issues with the pitch which i don't know if they are working on but they say they are working on papaya they've been closing it down and doing other stuff and working on it and we still don't see it 17 days to a game you decided to rent out the place for a church event without protecting the pitch how careless can you be now you are telling the fa and the sports ministry and you are telling the fa and the nsa to direct CAF to inspect the stadiums which have glaring issues uh, which you've obviously not addressed maybe they'll work on it before it's time but this is the current situation we find ourselves in having to race against time to get stadiums ready for calf matches we've been to four world cups we've had a lot of money pumped in fifa forward money which according to fifa in this article says they've helped with 80 venues they've helped us renovate 80 venues when speaking with a women's national team coach and a 20 women's team coach they said they've helped us renovate 80 venues with FIFA forward money. <sighs> Goodness, I don't even know what to say again. It's, it's unfortunate we find ourselves in this situation, but we shouldn't have gotten here. Incompetence led us here. Poor leadership led us here. And uh, the end result could be that we'll be playing home matches away from home. Yes, <laughs> it has a ring to it, but it's not funny. We are a football nation, or we tout ourselves to be a football nation, uh, but unfortunately, we are not doing the right thing. And it is quite sad to watch a country like Ghana uh, going through this. It's not right. It's not the best. Legon Sports Complex has its issues, which haven't been resolved. Across Sports Stadium, a myriad of issues, floodlights, the, uh, the washrooms, it's a lot hopefully they do resolve it before time a little under 24 hours before another inspection can be done let me know your thoughts in the comments box on this situation enjoy the rest of your week